We got our rune of the week. Let's see what we got. I'm going to dig deep in here. And we have Algees. As long as you protect those people who uh, see your creative vision, guess what? Your, your creative vision is protected as well. Protection. It goes all the way around. This is going to be the very thing the, that elk horn, the antlers, that are used to protect everything around you. And the bigger that support system is, the more protected it is. The more protected you are. And the more you can protect that system. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. Also, check out my new blog, Against All Odds, the number four, dot blogspot dot com. And as always, shine on. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Raven, and I'm here with your tarot card for the week. Let's see what you got. We got the King of Wands. What do we know about being a king of anything? Well, if anything, we hear the phrase, it's lonely at the top. But the king independently uses their own creativity to become more powerful. Here's the thing. The king is only as powerful as the cabinet that surrounds him. The people who are opening doors for you and paving the way for you, they are not to be forgotten because they are going to be your most loyal. And you should be as loyal to them as they are to you because they support your creative vision. All right? They see your potential. Don't let that go to waste. I'll be right back with your Rune of the Week, so stay tuned. So, okay, I can just toss the button because, quite frankly, it's not working. And my camera or phone is just randomly recording now. But I do have your Rune of the Week. Let's see what it is. I'm going to dig down into this bag here and pull it out. And it's another than Gabo. Gabo are the gifts that you have been given from birth. They're your talents, they're your skills, they're your abilities. And you can choose to either ignore them or you can choose to develop them. Now is the time to, to develop them. Now is the time to put them to use. Figure out what you're good at, how you're good at it, and how you can kind of do it in the background, tending to the little things, seizing those opportunities. That's what it's going to be all about for the week. I will see you on my live stream on Saturday morning at 11 15 a.m eastern don't miss it i'll be right back okay so final video final short this is more of a channel announcement than anything um there are certain things going on where i work schedule changes are happening and they're happening all over unfortunately there's just nothing i can do about it so we're down to kind of one reading a week now that's why i've done it in a much larger format I hope you'll check it out because that's about to be uploaded. It's about to be edited. And then these, these are going to go up before that, okay? I hope you'll check it out. Just remember, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. By the way, check out that new tarot cloth. It's freaking massive. Love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on. what is going on everybody it's your boy raven and i'm here with your angels and ancestors card today let's see what you got for this week and it is none other than medicine mother it says honor your inner knowing so do not let your intuition pass you by you have been here before i explained that in the reading today every one of these cards so far on these shorts has linked back to the original reading which you should check out because this is all about you listening to that small inner voice and understanding that it's not leading you astray. It's not leading you awry. It's actually trying to help you. This is the spiritual realm coming through telling you, hey, it's time to quit that behavior. It's time to do this instead, or it's time to move in this direction instead of that. I'll be right back with your run of the week. Don't move. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Raven and I'm here with your tarot card for the week. Let's see what you got. <sighs> it's kind of strange that I got this in reverse because this card came up in the reading today and I hope you'll check it out. This of course is the five of coins in, or five of pentacles in reverse and normally this would feel like you're being left out in the cold. However, if you change your perspective around just a little bit, you'll find out you're not being left out in the cold. You're actually being left out of a series of very bad decisions. And that's what this card is letting you know today. So it's time for a shift in perspective. And I hope you'll check out the rating because it does apply to this. 
and it tells you exactly what that shift in perspective means. I'll be right back with your Angels and Ancestors card right after this, so don't move. Welcome to Wednesday, and guess what? Got a tarot card for you. Let's see what you got. Got none other than a Knight of Wands in reverse. Right now, are you feeling this rupture, like a bit of a division somewhere? Partnerships dissolving, uh, alliances dissolving. Guess what? It is far better for you to deal with that and actually be alone for a change than it is to be alone with someone. And guess what? That's part of the reading today. So I hope you'll check it out. I'll be right back with your run of the week. Do not move. Stay tuned. Shaman's Dream Oracle card. Let's see what you got. It is none other than Galactic Mushroom talking about the Divine Matrix. Now, with this particular card, we are talking about illusions. Illusions came up in the full reading today. And guess what? A lot of anything that isn't made of something from the divine, whether whether you believe it's God or the universe, doesn't matter. It's counterfeit. It's false. It's an illusion, and it doesn't last. For the divine matrix, that's where you take back your power. But there's only one way to do it. And to know that way, you're going to have to check out the reading for today. I'm actually going to do that to you today. Just remember... I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up, and as always, shine on. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Raven, and I'm here with your spirit animal card for the weekend. Let's see what you got. I've got a hummingbird spirit for you. Oddly enough, we got a nightingale in the, uh, in the full reading. I want you to check that out because it's uh, very, very unique for today and this weekend but this one's telling you be here now you're gonna have to be in those moments you can't be thinking you can't be living in the past you certainly can't be living in the future you gotta live in the here and now you have to understand what needs to be done and you need to do it understanding that what you do now affects everything down the road just remember if you approach it with love everything else falls into place just keep doing it with love and gratitude and you're gold I'll be right back with your Shaman's Dream Oracle. Don't move. We know what that sound is. Oh, we know what that sound is. It's your Rune of the Week. Let's see what you got. And I've got for you none other than Thurisaz. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it as it should be. Thurisaz, this is your rune that indicates some struggle. But this is a storm that you have perceived as headed your way. But again... It goes back to the reading I just did, which introduces a brand new technique, one of which I borrowed from another one named Zerolath. I hope you check out his channel too on Odyssey. And that is, sometimes those battles are non-starters. And if you know what your talents and abilities are, if you know your worth and you're willing to go get it, the non-starter part is not even going to be an issue. Storm can't consume you if you are the storm. Just remember, love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Raven, and I'm here with your tarot card for today because, well, I was off yesterday, but no straight tarot Tuesday. So I'm making it up to you. See so what you got? Well, you've got two of cauldrons in reverse. This is that, uh, normally this is that soulmate card. This is that soulmate energy. Two people working very closely together. Soulmates do not have to always be married. They can just be two best friends. They can be business partners. They can just be friends of any kind. But the thing is, right now, you're not working with that. You're trying to be the lone wolf that's not exactly going to help you. I would suggest getting back in touch with that close friend and if you've had a falling out, it's time to make up with that, okay? So, a little forgiveness is going to go a long way. Check out the reading for today. I think you'll enjoy it. I'll be right back with your Rune of the Week. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Last card is going to be the Enchanted Map Oracle. Let's see what you got. And, ooh, look at that. Peaks of Joy. This is where you sometimes need to take a little bit of a leap of faith in order to get the most enjoyment out of something. So this weekend, and I'm going to link this back to uh, the video I shot, this weekend it's about really focusing more on what you love 
rather than what you don't. And when you love something, don't you want to tell the world about it? So do that. Get out there. Tell the world about it. See who wants to come along with you. Some people are going to go, hey, it's really making it's making that person happy. Why can't, what can it do for me? And they're going to come ask. And you're going to be that guide, that very guide people need. Check out the reading for more. Love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on. Welcome to Wednesday. And guess what? Got a tarot card for you. Let's see what you got. Got none other than a Knight of Wands in reverse. Right now, are you feeling this rupture? Like a bit of a division somewhere? Partnerships dissolving. Uh, alliances dissolving. Guess what? It is far better for you to deal with that and actually be alone for a change than it is to be alone with someone. And guess what? That's part of the reading today. So I hope you'll check it out. I'll be right back with your run of the week. Do not move. Stay tuned. Shaman's Dream Oracle card. Let's see what you got. It is none other than Galactic Mushroom talking about the Divine Matrix. Now, with this particular card, we are talking about illusions. Illusions came up in the full reading today, and guess what? A lot of anything that isn't made of something from the divine, whether whether you believe it's God or the universe, doesn't matter. It's counterfeit. It's false. It's an illusion, and it doesn't last. For the divine matrix, that's where you take back your power. But there's only one way to do it. And to know that way, you're going to have to check out the reading for today. I'm actually going to do that to you today. Just remember, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Raven. And I'm here with your spirit animal card for the weekend. Let's see what you got. I've got a hummingbird spirit for you. Oddly enough, we got a nightingale in the... Uh, in the full reading, I want you to check that out because it's a uh, very, very unique for today and this weekend. But this one's telling you be here now. You're going to have to be in those moments. You can't be thinking. You can't be living in the past. You certainly can't be living in the future. You got to live in the here and now. You have to understand what needs to be done, and you need to do it understanding that what you do now affects everything down the road. Just remember, if you approach it with love. Everything else falls into place. Just keep doing it with love and gratitude and your gold. I'll be right back with your Shaman's Dream Oracle. Don't move. We know what that sound is. Oh, we know what that sound is. It's your Rune of the Week. Let's see what you got. And I've got for you none other than Thurisaz. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it as it should be. Thurisaz, this is your rune that indicates some struggle, but... This is a storm that you have perceived as headed your way, but again, it goes back to the reading I just did, which introduces a brand new technique, one of which I borrowed from another one named Zerolath. I hope you check out his channel too on Odyssey, and that is sometimes those battles are non-starters, and if you know what your talents and abilities are, if you know your worth and you're willing to go get it, the non-starter part is not even going to be an issue. Storm can't consume you if you are the storm. Just remember, love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Raven, and I'm here with your tarot card for today because, well, I was off yesterday, but no straight tarot Tuesday, so I'm making it up to you. Let's see what you got. Well, you've got two of cauldrons in reverse. This is that, uh, normally this is that soulmate card. This is that soulmate energy. Two people working very closely together. Soulmates do not have to always be married. They can just be two best friends. They can be business partners. They can just be friends of any kind. But the thing is, right now, you're not working with that. You're trying to be the lone wolf that's not exactly going to help you. I would suggest getting back in touch with that close friend and if you've had a falling out, it's time to make up with that, okay? So, a little forgiveness is going to go a long way. Check out the reading for today. I think you'll enjoy it. I'll be right back with your Rune of the Week. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Last card is going to be the Enchanted Map Oracle. Let's see what you got. And, ooh, look at that. Peaks of Joy. 
this is where you sometimes need to take a little bit of a leap of faith in order to get the most enjoyment out of something. So this weekend, and I'm going to link this back to uh, the video I shot, this weekend it's about really focusing more on what you love rather than what you don't. And when you love something, don't you want to tell the world about it? So do that. Get out there. Tell the world about it. See who wants to come along with you. Some people are going to go, hey, it's really making it's making that person happy. Why can't, what can it do for me? And they're going to come ask. And you're going to be that guide, that very guide people need. Check out the reading for more. Love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, shine on.